Hey, Mr. Pulley. Yeah, bro, Sloan. So, you know what I'm doing right now? Yeah, 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 bro, Sloan. What am I doing? Hey, you are, you are, you are, you are keep on writing because you're preparing. <laughs> preparing, preparing for the day. Preparing, that's yeah. right. And you know one of my things? Preparation is everything. Yeah. So, you know, what, what is today? Sunday. So, in about two, well, a little bit less than two weeks, one day, a couple of days shy of two weeks. Oh, a big day. What's that day? It's an African day. Africa Day, you know, it, it, you see the Mayans, usually it's, it's Mayans, I know this, is um, on May 25th is Africa, the official Africa Day. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. No, 25th. After the, the, the 25th. Let me school you, younger. Oh, really? I know you African, but, I, but see, I'm African also from the diaspora. You oh. African from the continent, I understand that. Okay. But I know this stuff because I, my lineage to get to here comes through with nationalism, mm -hmm. pan-Africanism, mm -hmm. a bunch of other stuff, you know. Anyway, I've been in the struggle for a long time. I'm talking about at least since 1964, from my recollection. Okay. Anyway, but uh, the 25th is, is, is Africa Day, usually. Africa Day, uh, yeah. But because it's, oh, well, that's like a it's Wednesday. during the day, yeah. During the morning. week. So we're going to, we, we, it's weekend activities. But mine is, but we, now what do you, you want to do it, you, you want to do that Friday night, the 28th. 8th. We start yeah. then. Actually, start on a Thursday. Just, just for a few of us getting the yeah. stuff venue together. Okay, then Friday night, the twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. What's gonna happen? On the twenty eighth, we'll, we'll, the, 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 we'll be burning the the fire, the, the fire. Oh. and the, all the other people will be there, talking about what's gonna happen the next day, and then we like we are connecting because mm -hmm. you see, it's the day to connect because people are going to become will come all over the places, mm -hmm. you see, as you will be there also, because mm -hmm. you don't know the people who will be there, and then on that night, will be... On the 20th, on the 29th? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, okay. 28th. So, but the 28th is, uh, uh, basically, it's like a, it's just a free, I'll say free talk, it's because just say whatever you yeah. want, just people getting together, like, around a campfire. Okay, yeah. I got you, all right. Now, and then like the 29th, the things, like the olden days, and then like, like on the 29th, is uh, when you have the uh, the, the sermon that now, I, strangely enough, I've been invited to speak. Yeah, you're a speaker. <laughs> oh, you all have no idea what you're doing. Oh. I think I think you should, you have two weeks to, well, I'm starting to work now, but you have two weeks to rethink asking me to speak. There's Is no it? use of rethinking because you're supposed to be there uh, and be one of the people who will be there. I understand because that. it's an African thing. I understand that, man, but but I'm trying to I'm trying mm -hmm. to warn people. First of all, you know the the the, you know, the, 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 the name of my lecture, my speech, is going to be, um, what is it going to be? Uh, you have been mm -hmm. listening to the. Now, I'm not going to say the like the. I'm going to say the like my way of saying that, which is the, T-A. It has a whole thing to do with a bunch of other stuff. It's okay. black. No way. <laughs> the wrong American. A-M-E-R-I-C-A. -E and then I put the uh, the uh, the bracket, S, mm -hmm. close bracket. So you have been listening to the wrong American, or you can mm -hmm. say the wrong Americans. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the name of my speech. Now think about that. Somebody's gonna give you the okay, okay. Oh, that's, yeah. that's all I got to say. That's what I'm not gonna say anymore. But uh, this is interesting because uh, it doesn't say it ties into. But we're we're working on this project right now. Mm -hmm. uh, well, first let's go back to this here for a second. Mm -hmm. So this whole Africa Day is sponsored by some people. From, well, the group is Sankofa. It's but Sankofa. It's, but it's international. It's international, yeah. No, how did you how did you hook up with them? How did you? Yeah, yeah. As a, I was in, engaging with the Buyelembo lady, Buyelembo mama, the mother that is in Buyelembo. The, the one where where we're gonna yeah. have this affair at this, yeah. this like remember, it's like a village, like yes, it's a village, it's a village, it's a Buyelembo village. Okay. Yeah, because in the Buyelembo village is his space there, but now the the whole space there it's a Buyelembo village. Mm -hmm. You see, so. As we, we, I talked with her, and then she, she introduced me to the guy who's, who's a, um, Chaperson mm -hmm. of Sankomfa. 
And then Sir Kofi, Kofi Chaffer. Jefferson. Yeah, but when you say you introduced it to him, through yeah. what? Through... No, through, because uh, we were in, in, in a circle together with mother because we're engaging for, for, for the events of Mwilembo. If she's going to have an event, she's let me know and then I'm going to assist here and there. Right. But, and then, but she is here. She is here. In, uh, right, it's, the well, Bielembo village is basically village. The, uh, it's close to uh, to King, to King and, and yeah. we're in, between King and Zimbabwe. Yeah. But I'm just trying to say, but the person that's in charge of the Sankofa thing, they're she, also here. He is not here. Where is he? He's in Transkei now. Transkei. Now, okay. yeah. Okay, it's just still in the Eastern Cape. Yeah, Ball, because Transkei. because now we are chatting virtually, virtually. But now you just told me. I'm, I'm saying, well, well. For instance, I'm from the diaspora. I mean, I'm yeah. from from I'm from uh, from America. You yeah. know what I mean? Whatever mm -hmm. have you. But are the other people from also? Where, where are the people? Where are the other people? Cape from? Town. Uh, it's South Africa. All the Southern Africa, like South the Sadic uh, people. All the Sadic people. And then people, the, like. the, the the big group also have the the other diaspora people. Mm. The big group for because there's the Eastern Cape group mm -hmm. that is. It deals with the Eastern Cape people where because we yeah, now, right? where we are now uh -huh. is is like the event is gonna happen in here in Eastern Cape. Okay. But the national group, mm -hmm. like Joburg, Cape Town, Eastern Cape, all the provinces, mm -hmm. and other African diaspora people are there in the big group. Okay, so anybody from KZN or yeah. whatever have you, will, will will they be coming to the Eastern Cape or they yeah. have, they'll, 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 be have they'll be coming? They'll be coming. Oh, yeah. Oh. The, the big function is on that day is here. Oh, we're, we're, the we're, main we're, function is with the eye of the storm, or whatever. Exactly. They, oh, the hey. East and Cape. Oh, see, you're lucky. I don't get nervous. You know what I mean? Because I prepare ahead of time. So, oh, this is gonna be a big thing. Yeah. Oh, you. Should, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you once again mm -hmm. to rethink this invite. Okay, listen. I just I, I asked <laughs> a couple of times. I, I only asked a couple of times. Rethink mm -hmm. the invite. That's all I'm saying. Uh, because, see, I, I'm going to say how to start off, okay? Mm -hmm. Since we're doing this uh, 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 for this uh, uh, Africa Day on the mm -hmm. 29th, we have, we're have working our group. Uh, our, yeah, uh, uh, Amawelini. Amawelini, the, the, the play that we're working on, that group, that audio drama group, and that's mm -hmm. an ongoing project. So the stuff that we have right now for them, um, they'll present, they're, whatever they're presenting, mm -hmm. we're like a work in project, in pro in progress, pro rather. Yeah. And so whatever we come up with, that's fine. But then when we have another event in June, we'll have another event. We'll keep on advancing, advancing. the story, whatever. Having yeah. people still have their own stories, and then you know, then I have to go to the states. I got to do some other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but then when I come back, probably uh, October, November, somewhere around there, um, then what we do is we'll continue, continue the for the we'll you know, we'll finish that story for the um, for basically like uh, December. December is like December. holiday time, so yeah. it's also. Yeah, you don't know Africa Day or whatever Heritage Day, whatever you all got going. Okay, so so we keep on advancing that. Yeah. But but to me, it's 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 important because when I don't actually I shouldn't say I don't like doing speeches. That's not really true. But I don't really do speeches, you know. Mm -hmm. And even if I do, am invited to speak, I'm I'm never going to do it. You know, I'm just not, it's not going to do it the way people want it done, right? So one of the things that when the we want to put on the play, the play's only going to be about. 20 minutes, well, 40 yeah. minutes at the most. But I want them to come on first. I mean, come on, how would the day, as we structure this day, because we have to yeah. talk to them, then I want to speak right after we present. Yeah. Because my what I talk about is going to be stuff that happened in the, in the, that, we, that we discovered as we, as, mm -hmm. as we um, started to create this play, and mm -hmm. this, this audio drama. So this is, this is going to be uh, quite interesting. I'm, I made very little notes. I just started making notes, but I have certain points I got to put down. Like, you know, like one of the things in, in, that's going to be brought out in the play, I don't know if mm -hmm. you're going to write it right away, mm -hmm. is that uh, everyone by the age of 14 should be voting. Yeah. When the voting age starts at 14, you know, mm -hmm. and it goes, I'm all right, it goes to like 60. Yeah. You can only vote from, from 14 yeah. to 60. 60. Okay. When you're above 60? Like above 60, you can't vote anymore. No. He said, well, wait a second. Don't we, blah, 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 blah. No, you got to just convince somebody below 60 to carry your torch. <laughs> you got to talk to some people. You know, you better talk to a 15 year old. You know, yeah. talk to a 20 year old. If you want to get to, because after 60, you just, you know, hey. Just yeah. like one, it's going in the village because you see the schools, they end up to start at five. 
What's, what, what, what age is Standard 5? Standard 5 is great. It's uh, maybe 13 year old. 13 mm-hmm. year, 13 year old. Mm-hmm. Standard 5. Uh-huh. It's grade 7. Yeah. So after that, we must kill the kids instead of taking them to high school. Because mm-hmm. you see, we are eating the most of their time mm-hmm. by taking them to schools. And then after grade 12, they got nothing to do. They get bored and they don't know what to do. You see, at least if you oh. we give them technical stuff while the they 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 can well they can their brain is still functioning nicely discovering and can, things yeah so it's almost yeah. so you have some sort of formal education let's call it I don't know, well formal yeah. education until about what thir- uh, 13? thirteen to about thirteen yeah right I'm thirteen so in other words you you get your your reading your writing mm-hmm. your your math skills mm-hmm. you know. And that's basically all you need to, because if you can read, that means you, <laughs> you you can write, you know, you can talk, you can communicate. Exactly. And you might want to learn a few languages because then you just, one of the things we do, that's one of the things I say, mm-hmm. one of the reasons for that is that when you go to, um, when you when you get out of school, you can just go on the internet, learn whatever you want to learn. Mm-hmm. You know, those people who want to keep continue to go to school, you know, you can go go to university, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. But for most of us, and hey, we don't need that. Uh, let me tell you a little story. Uh, 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 a woman friend of mine, you know, I was going out with a woman friend of mine, and she was from a, a rich, like very, very, very rich. You know, so she got don't matter. But the point is, she never went. She, I think, she graduated high school. But she never went to college. But because of the way she grew up, because they're so rich and they start from like crash, you know, from kindergarten all the way to grade school. By the time they're like, by the time they're like 14, 15, whatever it is, or whatever, they know everything. <laughs> they, they, all the basics they know, know how to speak, sentence structure, all that stuff. So you don't need anything else. You know, everything else is about making relationships or whatever. Have. And since they have relationships, then they can keep on going. So people like, when they say, when somebody says, you know, they never they never finished high school or they never finished college. They took one semester of college. You all these rich people. Blah, blah, blah. It's because they've been trained for some Same other stuff. Thing. They don't need this other stuff that they give to us. Okay. That's one of the things. Um, one of the things I want to encourage everybody. See, this stuff I have to slip, put in this speech somehow. Mm-hmm. But one of the things, if I have to write a will, a living will, a will. A living will. I don't matter how it is. In fact, hey, you want to maybe to graduate from school, you have to have certain things. You have to have you have to be registered to vote. Doesn't mean you have to vote, but you have to be registered to vote. You have you, you should have some sort of I won't say driving, but I don't know. But um, all these things you have you, you should do before you um, you know write your you will, know. all those stuff before you even when you go go out into the world. You. When you're ready to go out into the world, you have everything. And so how can they vote at fourteen? They don't know any. Oh, oh, hey, wait a second. You somebody somebody asked you that question. What did you answer to them? Somebody asked you, I, 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 you said 30, 14, they, 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 yeah. they don't know what, what you said. What I can say is this, our our, uh, our country, what is this, constitution, constitution yeah. they can be able to do the abortion while they are 12 years old. So it me, that means they are able to, to, to take this decision by themselves. So they, let, they must let them decide who can run their country. At that age, because they, they they cannot be able to to let them kill the the babies in the womb. They mm. cannot let them take. They go to to clinics, mm. do abortion, and mm. go to clinics do the what is the the needle that they get there to prevent contraception. The, the contraception mm. while they are twelve years. You mm. see, so now they must give them a right to vote who is going to run their country. That's interesting because when you told the person that. They had to stop and think. Mm-hmm. First, they was trying to argue with you, but mm-hmm. soon you said, "Hey, if you can make certain decisions at you know, twelve or thirteen, mm-hmm. whatever, then you can certainly vote vote at what fourteen. Exactly. Wow, wow. Yeah, I'll tell you, um, what's interesting too. Uh, 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 one of the things I'm going to do, like I said before, I before I speak, we're going to have the pro because every because mm-hmm. every whatever we put in this audio drama, I want to riff off riff. I say riff. That's mm-hmm. like jazz term. You know, it's black. Black American talk, we riffing uh, off of off of the off of the um, off of the play. Okay. So that, that that would be good. Uh, and one of my top my the main main topic actually is going to be the system of Anglo racist white supremacy. And you know when I hold the, the Anglo thing, they said, well, you, you know, aren't you being aren't you saying it twice? Anglo and white supremacy isn't mm-hmm. the same thing. I said, 
Not necessarily. We're talking about the system. So I want to talk about systems more than I talk about people and stuff people. like that. Because usually people, they make these references and then, yeah. and It's all superficial. I'm going to get really, really deep. So I'm starting I'm starting on that. And I have this really slick thing I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell you. I guess we'll, we'll have to get that. Okay, so that's, so that, that brings me joy. My, 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 I mean, I have, I've, I've had made, I've made some speeches in, uh, already, you know, when I was up in Alice and stuff like that, talking, mm -hmm. uh, talking to folks. And it's all, some of the stuff is online. But this, um, what we're doing, tell me, now you tell me how, how we, how we, how are we doing so far? Because we got down, we get down to the real writing and stuff like that. People, People are coming in all the time, becoming very, very interested. Yeah, what do you think yeah, the yeah. impact? What do you think this the, is? The, the impact, because people, they, they hear it's about acting. And then it's this acting is not just an acting, it's a live audio drama. Mm -hmm. So people are there, new, used to it. And now people are keep on writing. Now the most interest is this, like, we have our own village. Mm -hmm. We are creating our own village. As we are creating our own village, we're going to put stuff that are not, like, people that they are not used to. So, oh, okay. Oh, so, see, because I like to explain to folks mm -hmm. that most of most of the times, in, from my reading of history, mm -hmm. a lot of it comes through the war is always always a reaction, whatever have you. But most of it comes through through culture. Is mm -hmm. when you, if you have a a, a hit song, you know, mm -hmm. a catchy song or whatever, even even charismatic leaders, they you know they're really just you know, mm -hmm. figures. Um, then what happens is that all of a sudden becomes the norm. Mm. The, the 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 big thing I like to use is like I said you know when we like in the forties I guess it's the forties something like that they had a thing where you had what's called Dick Tracy is like a cartoon mm -hmm. you know, like a a comic strip mm -hmm. uh, in in the newspapers and he had like a what's called a two way wrist radio television radio where you could see mm -hmm. the other person he would talk to this is in the forties and then if you look at twenty years from then it's in the sixties you know. Then what happens is those so same people who grew up knowing know about Dick Tracy, they 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 say this thing on TV, very very popular culture is um is Star Trek. Star Trek, yeah. Star Trek had a what's called a flip phone, mm -hmm. but basically it was just the same thing. It's like you know you could you you could talk to see somebody fa FaceTime whatever you call it, from 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 the forties now in the sixties it's in a it's in a phone. Then you get twenty years later, you know 60s, 70s, 80s, then. When they uh, when I said they had a flip device, right in the eighties they had then you had your your cell phones that were flip phones. That's because the people who created that grew up on Star Trek. Star Trek. So it's so it's really a cultural thing that all our mobile devices right now are just it's a, it's a, cultural, it's a cultural expression from the forties. That's the way I look at it, right? Mm -hmm. So my whole thing is if you create something culturally, so if we do this or uh, whatever. Emma Welleni, Emma Welleni, the, the, our, our village, um, that village is in the Eastern Cape. We don't say where, but the reality of that village, that could become the reality of the country. Of the country or on the nation. But first, you have to see what the village is doing. So that's our job as audio dramatists is to is to demonstrate the show, just like the just like the comic strip, mm -hmm. just like the you know just like the television, the television program, program to show the possibilities. That's all. That's 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 all. That's all I do. Like you know, and it's interesting because a lot of times, well, when I'm when I'm when I'm working, people always say, well, what what do you do? <laughs> when I'm in the states, people, what do you do? They, nobody, what do you do? I'm some audio dramatist. They, I, I explain. I say something, and they they look like they're satisfied with what I said, but no. they don't. They they don't really understand the scope. <laughs> that's all. Like, just like me. Everybody always um, running around doing what, guys. They have run around. Mm. Community development. What is a community development? I'm like, it's difficult because it's vast. Because I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You ain't working. Like, it's not about that. It's like about changing, changing the way the things that have been happening. Like, we must try to have make a change. Mm -hmm. You see, because if we keep on going to work, all our time will be spending much time to the working people and the bosses of these companies. Having going to holidays, but we are still working. Mm. Our society is getting destroyed. Mm. But if you are not working and do stuff to our communities, at least we'll be able to bring back the the culture, because they are trying to to to, to take away the culture from us, take away the the the, the norms, take away the the, the values of mm. the of the community. Because mm. we as the community we were united now because 
everything is about money. You are separated. If this one want to be rich, that one want to be rich, that one want to be rich. And those guys, we call them criminals. They want piece of it. Mm. They want piece of that. If they don't get piece of that, they will kill somebody. Mm. You see? So we have to demonstrate in this audio drama how to yeah. deal with the whole, so whole, whole, whole society. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let, let me end there. I do have to say this. I mean, you know, I know nobody likes to be sure, but it's kind of interesting because what happens, especially if somebody like me who's who's been in what we call a struggle all their life doing mm -hmm. certain things, and, you know, some people do it through money, some people do whatever happened, and I've sacrificed and all that stuff. But one of the things I try to tell you, you gotta, you have to, um, you know, you have to multiply yourself. When I say multiply yourself, it's not just your children. You, you know what I mean? You have to take that mentality that you that you go with and somehow, because sometimes your children rebel against you. They don't even want to do it. But you have to find the next generation, next generation. I mean, I'm very, I'm very fortunate because, like, right now, I could, I could just almost like just say, okay, I done did. I keep on, of course, but I, said, I did everything I did because I found Master Chloe, or somehow Master Chloe found me. But the point is, you're like I. You like me. Copy. <laughs> you know, you're like, you know, <laughs> like, you know, Copy. The 40 years removed or something like that, you know. <laughs> and it's kind of really interesting to see because then I have to do anything. I just say, oh, you know, I don't know, you know, <laughs> look, look, look at him, you know, because nobody's going to listen to him, so old man. But somebody in their 30s like you, they listen to you like you get everybody hopping, whatever happens. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy with that because, like I said, when I was your age, I was doing the same thing. Uh, and and I had actually mentors. I had older people that people. I would look at and blah blah yeah. blah blah. So this is the way it should be societally. You have to do this. It, it, the village is actually the village. The village. It's not just the, your immediate family. Because mm. sometimes your immediate family, as we all Psst. know, is not the best people. <laughs> just because you were born into that that yeah. family doesn't mean you was and you was born into that circumstance doesn't mean that you know it's, yeah. it's, you, you have to do it. Now. So uh, so I thank you for being you and hanging out so uh, being patient. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because now as an old man, you know, I need help. You know what I mean? I don't want help, but I need help. And uh, you and a bunch of other people always help me here. But I'm in South Africa, so I love being in South Africa. Okay, so we'll talk. Uh, as, as we come closer to the, uh, to, to the thing, we'll talk more. All right? All right.